Altistar is here today at Upcon 2011, and we've got Dino and Julian with us. Um, do you want to introduce yourselves, who you are? Uh, you said you're, you're the chairperson of TKV. Yes. And what is that? Uh, it's the Tax Wargaming Society okay. in English. All right. And basically, I get a mic. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I will not fill this thing up. <laughs> okay, I'm Julian. I'm the current chairperson of Tax Kreisbel Verenigen, or Tax Wargaming Society in English. And basically, we run Upcon. Cool. We don't do much else. Uh, what exactly is Upcon? Upcon is an annual gaming convention held at the University of Pretoria. Borrow this one from you quickly. Um, and what, what, what events are here? What happens? Um, I know there's uh, wargaming. I saw Magic the Gathering coming on. I know you guys have anime playing in the background. What other things are you guys doing? Uh, well, there's also the Legend of the Five Rings card game, Vampire the Eternal Struggle, um, and there's role-playing sessions as well. And Dino, uh, yourself, you're not part exactly of TKV, you're in a separate society, what, what is the name of that? Um, I'm part of the Great Geek Collective. For many years I was chairperson and treasurer and role-playing representative and everything of the TKV, so poor Julian gets taught by me, I'm so sorry Julian. <laughs> okay. And um, so what I started is the Great Geek Collective, because what we're doing now is we're doing non-student gaming. And we started out now with this app called Helping Out, got our logo out. Oh, very cool. So that that's, uh, I know was one of the questions is, um, besides, uh, this is obviously TKV is really associated with the University mm. of Pretoria and Upcon, University of Pretoria. Mm. Uh, what other things are available in Pretoria and Johannesburg uh, for people that are into gaming and all the rest of it? Do you want to take that? You can take this one. <laughs> all right. Um, role playing generally happens at people's homes. Mm -hmm because people meet other people. The nice thing about cons like this is it gives people a chance to meet people they don't know before. There are people here that we see once a year and you get to know them very well. And you have games at people's homes, you have little guessily games like lunch money and so on that can't be played. In, not everything can be played in polite society because okay. we have lots of fun and make loads of noise. All right, okay, now I get that. Um, the, also, what other events are happening in the canal? I know there's uh, Johannesburg one that happens late in the year. Mm. Uh, what other things are happening in and around Victoria and Johannesburg? All right, mostly the people come together one one. What I want to do as part of the Great Geek Collective is actually make it easier for people to come together in groups and do this because otherwise you get very clickish gaming. Yeah, I can imagine. So um, we, there is Mayhem that has the ga computer gaming events, but this is, I think the proper title is alternative gaming, where you actually sit with other people and you don't use a computer. All right. So, so yeah. you're trying to get like a monthly or, or a monthly or a second where monthly. Where you guys can get together and all yeah. the rest of it. Um, I know there's another the, uh, LARP, is it? Uh, oh, live yes. action role play. I know they, they get together every two months and stuff. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they, I think they were here yesterday. Yes, they were. They're here today, sort of as well. We have lots of inter-membership. There are people that are part of the TKV originally, and then they graduated. Now they're sort of part of the Great Geek Collective. And it's from that first TKV group also that the Mead idea came originally. Oh, okay, yeah. all right, cool. Also, I believe we missed the cosplay yesterday. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, how did that come? What type of uh, costumes do you guys see? What was going on? Julian, do you want to speak at all? What, uh, am I talking about the cosplay? Yes. Okay, the <laughs> cosplay was basically run by the Anime Society here. A uh, nice bunch of people with them, and they also do our anime screenings, so it helps us a lot that they help out. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, we had a whole variety of characters. Um, there were some people who were grouped together and did um, a certain group of people from a certain anime, uh, specifically Rurouni Kenshin. And there were other people who did characters from Bleach. And okay. so it was very good. There were quite a lot of people, and we saw some pretty amazing costumes. Uh, and I believe you had competitions, so who won and what were they wearing? and. I can't remember this. I was <laughs> okay. very tired. Shame. <laughs> Shame on you, Julian. <laughs> I'm not sure who won the cosplay either. It was a most adorable girl. That is uh, what I do remember. And then this year for the first time we had a costume competition which was non-anime. And the winner of that was, can you remember? A Fallout Raider. A Fallout Raider. Okay. What was your guys' favorite costume? I hope you should remember that. The Fallout Raider. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> I cool. enjoyed my costume the most, thank you very much. I dressed up as a ball queen. <laughs> okay. Cool. Without the headpiece. Without the headpiece, because it's all. <laughs> all right, uh, thank you. Is there anything else you guys wanted to add or, or mention? 
Okay, APCON happens every year around about April, May. So cool. if you want to come and take a look, you're more Where than can welcome. the guys find you? I know you guys have a, a, a web page to put out today, but I know we find more information on your Facebook. Do you have a Facebook group? We have a Facebook group. The GGC also has a Facebook group. Okay, cool. All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you very much.